welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, and I'm hosting the show today. Lucky you. <laughs> Pure sarcasm. <laughs> okay, so we are going to get going in a few seconds. I just have a few announcements to make. First, um, I will be taking callers if you would like to call in. The call-in number is um, 845-277. 9131. If you have a question or would like to connect with a loved one on the other side, push one. If you would like to just listen, the um, you please go to my website. I'll never reach out to anyone for a appointment or to do work. I won't reach out to you on social media or any place else. Um, just uh, I do private sessions. But I do not reach out to people. So please do not get scammed. Do not send somebody money. Do not do any of that. And all of my sessions are over the phone. I don't like, this is my typing thing. I do not type out messages for you. Doesn't happen that way. Uh, three, hey, Stevie, how are you, buddy? <laughs> As most of you already know, Stevie's my youngest brother who I just adore. He is a, such a sweetie. Um, so yes, there's, there's that. Hey, Stevie, how are you? Um, and what else? I want to thank Rude Rangers for streaming my shows. I also air on um, WSCS, Roku, and a number of other streaming channels, as well as many, many podcasts. Having said all of that, in a second, I'm going to get started with callers. Um, I want to say hi to Genevieve, Steve, Vaughn. Hey, you guys. Mimi, thank you for moderating. Um, thank you all for joining me here today. If there is something that you would like healed, if you want me to do a clearing on something specific, please uh, either put it in the chat or call in and ask for a clearing. And you can also, um, there was something else I just thought of. Okay, clearings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if, you're, if you're watching on YouTube, Say hi, say where you're from, and I'll be happy to say hi back to you. And again, if you're watching on one of the stations that I air on and you want to join us live, it's every Monday and Wednesday for at noon central for at least um, 30 minutes, sometimes 60. Uh, somebody else just jumped in. Uh, somebody, Mrs. Booty. <laughs> I'm afraid to say that because I'm afraid it's really wrong. <laughs> but I'm just going to lean in and read it. I'm just saying um, it is not Mrs. Booty, Mrs. Becky. It's Mrs. Becky. <laughs> How are you? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm going to go to callers. Hey, Sal. How are you? Okay, I'm going to go to callers now. The first caller is 514. Sorry about that, Miss Becky, who is not Miss Booty. How are you, 514? Hello, Tony. Can you hear me today? I can. How are you? Yes, I got in. I'm well. And you, how are you, my dear Tony? <laughs> I am doing so good. I'm so happy to hear from you. So happy. So Genevieve. Yes. Is, yes. Genevieve actually called in on Monday and there were so many technical difficulties. Um, it was a very staticky line. And so I'm so happy that she made it through today and the call is clear. So Genevieve, what's going on? Okay, well, since it's relationship day, this is about relationship. I uh, believe I've come into a, um, I've hit, well, I guess I've hit the wall and I think I've come to realize that my relationship is uh, really not what it was supposed to be or was interpreted to be. And that's fine because everybody makes sometimes a road together and then we need to, uh, you know, to just you know, change roads or highways. 
And I believe I've come to that conclusion because his um, outbursts, whatever they may be, um, his angels and my angels are not able to calm him down nor to make him come to emotional intelligence to see that uh, there is also other point of views and it's not, she doesn't have the, you know, the last word because he believes it's the last word. So, and um, also that my daughter is important as much as his daughters, but that also seems to be somewhat of a complication. So my question, I'm sorry to, to, rat, to rattle all of this, but uh, when, because also, as you, need, as you know, I'm taking my courses and financially I'm not fully stable yet. Um, when do you believe this separation is going to happen? Since I've had vision in my meditation, I'm kind of wondering when do you see this happening? Because I'm a little bit lost into the time the earth time and the astral time, if I can call it that way. Okay, so um, a lot of this is up to you. So I'm, first and foremost, I'm really sorry for where you are with your relationship. I know it's so challenging in relationships to know sometimes um, what the right choice is. And then once you make that choice, um, second guessing, if it's the right choice and um, and then when to make the move. And so I'm so sorry for everything you're going through and I know how difficult it is to be in that situation. Um, the, the, the thing I'm hearing is a month and a half. Now that doesn't mean in a month and a half you're going to be, you know, moved out and in your own place. I feel like in a month and a half there's going to be... Um, some either communication or some decisions on your part that are going to help you to make a plan, make it like an exit strategy, if you will. Um, I do feel like you are going to know within, within the month how, how much longer you can handle it, for lack of a better way of saying it. And then in a month and a half, you're going to know exactly when it is that is going to be the good time for you to leave according to everything. Now, I am going to tell you, he is going to make some changes. Um, I cannot, cannot say that these are going to be long-term changes. I, I don't know right now how long he's going to be able to make these changes for. I do feel like he is going to try, I do, he is going to try um, to ch change a little bit. And s one or two of the changes will be permanent, but the other ones he might, he might have to correct himself a couple of times before they're permanent changes. But I do feel like sometimes because we put up with something for so long, by the time the other person makes a change, we don't, we, we're already have our mind made up and on the way out the door by that point. Um, we might give them another shot, but it can be very difficult to be in that situation and to, to stay at that point. And especially, you know, one thing I, I'm going to tell you, Genevieve, one thing that I've realized is, is life is short and there are a lot of things in this life we don't have control over. And um, our home situation and our stability are probably the only things we can really kind of pretend we control. And we want to be happy. For the most part, we just, we want to be happy. And if we're in a chaotic situation with people, if we're in a situation where people are being um, angry or loud or whatever, it's very, very disturbing to our psyche and our ability to move forward and be happy in life. So 
then we end up in your shoes where we have to make the choice. So what I'm going to say to you is, I do believe that within a month and a half, you're going to know exactly when you're leaving and where you're going. I do feel like a lot of this is going to be based on your education and of course your finances. But I do feel like around the three month mark, you, you will have the choice depending on how many changes he makes and how long he keeps those changes, you will have the choice in three months of where you really, really want to be and what you're going to do with it. Okay, love? Okay. All right. So do you see the changes? Is, is he's going to start doing them right now or whenever I have his talk with him uh, in about a month? I feel like you're going to talk with him within a week. And I don't, okay, here's, here's what I'm going to say to you and anybody else listening who's in this situation. If you're in a situation with somebody where things aren't the way you want them, don't wait until a blow up. Don't be that, don't, don't go, okay, the next time he yells, the next time he this, the next time he treats me like an option, the next time he ghosts me, the next time... Don't wait for the next time. When things are calm and good, have the conversation. And if you if you feel like the conversation is going to be a repeat of a past conversation, then write it out. Because, and I say this all the time, and I know I sound like a broken record, and not a text, folks. <laughs> not <laughs> texting is not writing. <laughs> it is, but it isn't. Um, not a text, not an email, actual pen, pen to paper, actual pen to paper. Um, because we're more thoughtful when we're handwriting something. And when people are reading it, they process it in a much different way. So, what I'm going to say is when they're calm, have the conversation, but don't have the same conversation. Use different verbiage. Use a different way of approaching it. Say everything differently than you would normally say it. And start with questions, open-ended questions. How do you feel our relationship is going? What do you think we can do to make our relationship better? What is it you need from me to make this healthy and to help our relationship be more stable? Don't use the word volatile, but to, so that we can have a calmer, more peaceful situation and do it at a time when things are going well. Because if you wait until that next blow up, if you wait until the next ghosting, all the emotions are off kilter. And what people say when emotions are off kilter, uh, it, it, it's, it's an emotional response or reaction instead of a stable conversation, okay? And don't, again, and what just one other little point, have have the conversation when absolutely no alcohol is involved, not even a glass of wine, because, um, again, we want to come from a point of complete sobriety during this conversation, because all of our faculties are very different, even than with like a glass of wine. So, um, and as everybody who has had a glass of wine or whiskey or whatever knows, uh, that that can make the emotions flow a little faster. So one of the things I would say is is do that within a week and then allow for that to sink in. And I feel like in a month, you'll see how much of it has sunken in and be able to make some really good choices. I do feel like there are going to be changes. But I do also feel like when you have the conversation, don't have it in a way that requires defensiveness of either of you. Always use the terms we are us, okay? And and go from there. And I think that is going to be one of the most powerful things that you can do, okay, sweet, beautiful girl? Thank you, Tony, for all the reminders of the conversation. I knew, but 
Kate, it's always good to to hear from you as you have the little introspect of the little angels talking to you. <laughs> Absolutely, my pleasure. And I'm so grateful um, for talking to you. And I'm going to do a clearing right now, a healing for healthy, loving relationships. The relationship we are in is healthy and loving. Let's clear that to a yes. We are moving into a more healthy, loving, understanding relationship. I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes. And this is for you, everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. You can re-watch this and re-listen to it as many times as you need to because um, or want to to help clear more and more and more away. And I do, I really do hope that this is helpful and, um, and, uh, and makes a difference. And, you know, I, I don't say this ever on the show, but you can play this show in the back background on very quietly <laughs> and let these healings work on everybody in the home also <laughs> so that is something that some people do and it does make a big it, it does help to really affect and change um the environment of the home also okay Beautiful. I'll do that during supper time. Thank you so much, Tony. And have yourself a beautiful, fantastic day. And I wish everyone and Mimi, thank you for everything else that you're doing. And you're awesome. You're just beautiful. Thank you, love. Thank you. You have an amazing day, too. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is 203. 203, how are you today? Hey, Tony, it's Pat. I'm good. How are you doing? Hey, Pat, I'm doing amazing. How are you? What's going on? How can I help you today? Actually, I have a question. I'm trying to post my question in the chat. Is Mimi, is she helping you? Uh, yes. I, I don't know. I just have such bad luck trying to get in there. I'll, I'll maybe talk to you sometime about it, or maybe I can reach Mimi for help. Anyway, my question is, I'm wondering if I've taken a positive turn in my life. As you know, it's been so difficult with so many obstacles. I'm trying a particular prayer every day, and sometimes I'm convinced that this is really going to help me turn my life. And other times I'm really kind of spacey and busy and ungrounded and like almost like my reality's totally gone and I'm wondering is this just the reaction of a big shift or but basically do you see me taking a turn with these prayers yes I do but I'm also hearing sweetie that there's a medication that on that you might um one of two things is going on I hear the word medication when I hear the word medication, um, it can mean a couple of different things. And I'm going to explain what this can mean for you or anybody else listening. Sometimes doctors um, will prescribe things for us. And they might have a negative interaction with something we're eating and or drinking even as a supplement or another medication. I feel like one of the medications that you are taking, either it is, I'm hearing overprescribed, overprescribed, which means it can be too much for something else you're taking, or on certain days, there's a buildup of it in your system. And I think this might be, be it more. There's a buildup of it in your system that's causing you to have a... Um, it, 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 like like that little disconnect. Now I am going to tell you, I'm not telling you to change any of your medications. I am telling you to go online and look up how your medications interact with each other. And I'm also going to be very clear about the fact that when we do take medications, if we are not getting enough water, eating enough fruits and vegetables, doing the things yeah. we're supposed to do, these medications are not leaving our system timely. We're giving a medication and if we're supposed to, let's just say, for example, take it once a day, it has a 24 hour cycle. It's supposed to be effective in our body for 24 hours. Now, if we take it too soon or too late the next day, or we're not flushing our system quickly enough, 
that medication is staying in there longer. And for a certain period of time or days, we might have a buildup in our system of that medication. Huh, I like this channeling, very informative. Um, so one of the things I'm going to tell you is to make sure that your medications are interacting correctly with each other and with any supplements you're taking. And also to make sure that you are cycling your medications out appropriately, whether that means with um, like everything's just going through your system in a timely fashion. Okay, beautiful. Now the prayers are working. Prayers always work. They always work. I do feel like you should add um, bringing the angels in to clear or cleanse your home and your body and your your babies also, your, your pets. Um, and make sure you're adding that in the morning and the evening for yourself and to help out. Okay? Okay, love? Yeah, that's really, you know, I've been wondering about drinking enough water and um, I'm also, I, I work with all my doctors, so please know that with any changes, I'm getting myself off one that begins with W. I was wondering if that was making me spacey. Um, and can I ask a medication, AT? I've increased, I'm working with my doctor. Or is it just the issue with water? Um, yeah, I feel like it's a an issue with cleansing your whole system. So it's it's not yeah. just it's not just the um it's not just what medication or how much you're on. It is a case of being able to cleanse your your whole system. And I'm I'm happy that you're working with your doctor and obviously keep working with your doctor. I do feel like you are going to have some luck over the next couple of days. And remember, if you're drinking, if you're in drinking water, make sure if you're drinking out of the faucet, you're putting some sort of filter on your faucet to get the chlorine and fluoride out because there are a lot of chemicals in our water. I'm going to go directly to 914. 914, how are you today? Hi, great. Thank you. How are you? Thank Hi. you so much for taking my call. Absolutely. My pleasure. Uh, how can I help you today? Um, yes, thank you. I was wondering with work, if you see Ian or Vincenzo working with me, or should I just strike out on my own and kind of um, hash things out on my own without their collaboration or help? I feel like you're going to have now, I do feel like one of them is going to reach back out to you or, or connect with you. But I do also feel like you are going to have the most success striking out on your own. Mm -hmm. You are going to have wow. the most, um, well, control, obviously, but the most success striking out on your own and working on your own and doing things in the way that you want to do them. I think that um, there's a, uh, what is that? Creativity. There's a, you have one way of looking at things they have another way of looking at things. None of these ways are wrong, but I do feel like that there is a, um, a, a almost like a clash in creativity or control some and some control issues. So I do feel like you know what you're doing, you know your product or or what you offer, and you should really go off on your own and work within that. You don't have to start huge. You don't, you know, you can, I always say, grow where you are, grow where you are. So just start the way you are, just start growing, going, and let that be how you move forward. Does that make sense to you, love? Yeah, yeah, so I've always kind of, I, I wanted to, but I've always been unsure. That's why I was asking, like, oh, like, you know, because I want what's best for the project, ultimately, you know. Um, yes. one so, of the, yeah, that's why I was wondering. One of the things that I ask people, whether they're in a relationship, whether they're in a, um, 
work situation, my favorite question to ask people is, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? Who would you be? Uh, if you weren't afraid, would you just move forward on your own and just let your wings spread and fly? Um, because if, if you're doing something, if you're making decisions based on being afraid, even a little bit, those decisions are going to backfire on you. So if you weren't afraid, I, yeah. you would just fly. We all would. So I'm going to tell you now, just fly, just fly. Does well, that, does that make sense, love? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling. I'm so grateful I was able to help you today. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. God bless you. God bless, love. And call back and let me know how everything works out for you. I am going to go directly to the next caller, who is 414. 414, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, uh, Becky from Milwaukee. Hey, Becky. How can I help you? Um, I'm just calling to find out. Um, we talked uh, previously um, on a session, and I picked out my husband, and I'm trying to find out if he's doing better now. Maybe I can let him back soon. Okay. Um. If you let him back, that's up to you. I'm not the boss of you or your relationship. I'm going to tell you he's not doing better. He's actually probably doing a little bit worse. I feel like whatever was going on, it has escalated. And you are going to realize that very, very shortly. You're going to see that the only okay. way that this will stop is with professional help. So you're going to uh, give... Um, an, like a, not an ultimatum, but an ultimatum of, you know what, you need to be in a situation where you are getting a, a professional help and professional testing um, to make sure everything is cleaned up and out of, okay. out of, does that make sense? I know that makes sense to you. I'm trying to say it in a way that it doesn't give everything away to everybody else. <laughs> so does that make sense to you? No love? worries, I get it. I get it. Okay. Yes. So I hope that's really, really helpful for you. Um, and I am sorry for what yes. you're going through. I do feel like in six months he's going to round a corner, and you'll be able to make better choices at that time for your family than right now. Okay. 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 Perfect. Thank All right. you. Well, thank you so much. You are so welcome. You are so, so welcome. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Unfortunately, today is a 30-minute segment, um, but I will be back on Monday, hopefully with an hour for everybody. Until then, have an absolutely amazing week. I love you all, and thank you so much for joining me here today. Mm -hmm.